like I said, the war is over for me. I'm doing so good at this that they just sent my checks okay. to where I was living at. What, what, why, why, are you, why are you calling, sir? Because I'm in total mental distress the way this area treats a veteran, which is highly patriotic to men that are in uniform, but they want to rape me out of the forces, and they get the call out that once someone's a SEAL, they forever actually are a SEAL. Okay, well, you were never a SEAL. Okay, thanks for clarifying that. You're not working at Terminex anymore. Uh, worked as a gate guard at a gated community. And is constantly, constantly referring to some ties in the mafia. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not the guy making false claims, Mike, to these women. Oh my God! You know what you say, man? I'm gonna explain this to you. I'm gonna find you. I swear to you, my lord. Okay. You don't give me your address. I find you. I'll give you the address. You ready? Tell me your address, Marcus. I'm in Mexico right now. Oh well, that, you know that's convenient. If you want to kill somebody, you gotta come to them or something. How about I just come out there and knock out all your fucking teeth? How about that? Uh, I'm gonna fuck you up this time. Yeah, how are you going to do that, fake seal? I have no idea what this guy wants, but uh, caught me coming up the driveway and sounds like a total flipping nut. Hello, uh, I'm sorry. I missed about everything. What is it that I can do for you, sir? Okay, I was going to say, call me down, talk to me, so tell me if it makes sense. Uh, a couple months ago, my counselor was telling me just keep raising the level of ass-kicking, get respect, and I've been listed as inactive from the U.S. Navy as a SEAL in the last, you know, 124 hours. And Lieutenant Colonel no more, I'm not a sir, I'm just a mister, just like you're just a mister that was a chief back in the day when I was seeming to be a little bit of a younger and more spry soldier. You I were, a, you, were a, you were a SEAL? Uh, yeah, I've talked to you plenty of times. You verified me because I tried to shock therapy out of me, remember being a master chief at one point. What was your name, sir, last name? Uh, it's very hard to find the records because it's very retroactive, but if you look at my municipal file, if I give you my address, you would find me. Uh, SEAL Master Chief. I was a Delta. I've been a commander in the Navy as a SEAL. Rank commander. What, uh, what class did you go through? I went through 168, then by the time I found out I was supposed to be doing something right, I went through 131. Guys, I'm not doing it at the right time. I'm sorry. I wound, the, I wound up as a Delta, and stuff is happening that I did in the early 90s. It's going on, happening in the current and the future. I died leading myself. Okay, what class did you What class did you go through? I, I've been through lots of them. They put me in them just to make the other guys try to push harder because that's how... Your initial your initial training class to be a SEAL. I was brought in like in 1940 as soon as they had something that floated underwater to, to survey enemy shores. Do you remember a SEAL I, training class number? All I know is Frogman... And the, the boat in the middle of the night, take your piss off and take your dump, hop back in until they get you to your shore. And you go out there and then you look at everything and you come back with a little red flashlight and draw a map of what you've seen and what you got. Okay, I'm... So then after you decided the knife, he gave you a machine gun too. So a machine gun in case you got in trouble and you had to pale out, swim out to the, the open ocean and do flashlight signals with the little ship and go back home. I was supposed to be bragging about this stuff, but the the, the, you know, the the History Channel stuff, because I wouldn't keep quiet, that six program, it's going on today, currently, right now. That's why they cut that program from the History Channel. And as soon as one black seal said, or right, cell number off your wife, 
the red cell uh, got placed into a capsule that we believe we were the only SEAL Team 6 there is. So I looked at from the, the history magazine of uh, the issue last winter of U.S. Special Operations, and it was all rough. My red cell, my blue cell, and yeah, it was Doug McKayda. I didn't die. I jumped out of the helicopter because I could tell it was effective listening to the engines, and they called it out. I sent my wife a postcard, and I was using surplus batteries in the ham radio on the roof of a building I rented an apartment in for a little while. So I, that's how I came. I led my team after the grave. Okay, I'm not finding a listing of you as ever serving a seal. I don't remember speaking to you before. Well, this is really this is really odd because it seems like I'm in Shutter Island factor now. If you've seen what that movie was, what what? Uh, retro retroactively classified my files or something. What seal training class did you go through? I've been through about fourteen of them. Why would you go through? Who the fuck goes through fourteen seal training classes? One's enough. What was your first one? I was just some young kid in the 80s. The, the Army was supposed to give six months off before I went to the school. And they sent me through sapper training. And then they sent me into Buds. From and the I Army? I can't remember anything. It looked like I was 13, but I was 37. From the Army? Right. I went to from Rangers to Special Forces Selection. And I was the top 90% of the tier of the, the room. And they kicked me out. You know, they told me, you know, buds, buds, you, you know, you're still what? They just are not like, I don't have buddies with you guys. You, you, you know, you guys, I don't know. And then they said, no, you, you've been selected, but you got to volunteer. So then I talked to a couple of psychologists about how it's a couple of the things that did the individual parts of selection. And they, they figured I was saying, and then I went and talked to an admiral and a couple, uh, they are in uniform for long hours, for about a couple long hours, about, yeah, sure, I'll see, I'll, 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 I'll dive up with the, if I take weight belts off, they weigh that much, I'll carry the biggest bombs on their boats for you, sir. <laughs> and then I was off to school. I mean, I went from Army, I wasn't, I'm not a Marine, I've never been a Marine, I trained around a lot of them, I, I bet there were uh, Marine Scout Sniper School, they kept me in there. Eight years to let me take the graduation test. They said, "Well, maybe they do a real thing." And then eleven happened. So I set up my hide, and I kept three hundred forty hoggies in the first three days of the U.S. forces being over there. So they said the war is over for me. I'm doing so good at this that they just sent my checks okay. to where I was living. And what? Are, what why, why are you? Why are you calling, sir? Because I'm in total mental distress the way this area treats a veteran, which is highly patriotic to men that are in uniform, but they want to rape me out of the forces, and they get the call out that once someone's a SEAL, they are forever actually are a SEAL. Okay, well, you were never a SEAL. Okay, thanks for clarifying that, because the police, uh, you know, when the, I found out a gay neighbor that was trying to, you know, violate my household was a domestic dispute, uh, the found me as SEAL Team 6, and uh, ex-SEAL Team 6, and uh, they got my mental day, well, I did for a mental day, she got $700 just to end the dispute about butt knocking off a couple neighbor people that have like a North of Korea, South Korea wall, they're North Korea, even though the yard's bigger than my South Korea. Was there anything else I could do for you, sir? Uh, no, other than just tell me quit being a, a, a whirling dervish and forget all my SOG and special operations group and try yeah. not to do anything else other than not cut my dick off when I take a piss or blow my brains out or shoot something in my yard left over from the army that will blow okay. part of my yard. My all right, house. well just keep taking those meds and uh, good luck. You know, say I need my ranger candy and I just better show up, sir. Yeah. I'm Mr. John. Okay. Stay safe, bro. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, bye. Bye. I hope nobody thinks I just make this shit up. That I just get a buddy of mine on the phone and we rehearse some kind of script and shit. I mean, I get these weird fucking phone calls. I mean, really weird. When you do the high profile things that I do. 
and your name and address and telephone numbers smeared all over the internet. I get my share. At least he called at a reasonable hour. Most of them call about 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. And he was fine with that. Oh, I'm not a SEAL? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. No, you're not. I thought at one point he said he went through class 131. I think he did. Just a day in my life. A day in my life, man. It's really weird.